into it. If you are watching this now or if you are watching back the replay, this is going to be all about like self-soothing and a very nurturing type of movement and flow for today. I have a um, live meditation for the sacral chakra that I'm going to be doing at one o'clock today on Patreon. So you're more than welcome to join me for that or watch back um, the replay of that as well because that'll be up there. So um, yeah, I would love for you to join me for that. But this is all going to be about like um, kind of like finding the sense of authenticity and freedom of expression in the body. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to explain more on the, like the Patreon meditation, but the sacral chakra is our second chakra up from the root chakra and it is all about like, um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I got distracted. <laughs> so it's the second one up, it's represented by orange light. It is associated with the element of water and um, it's all about vitality um, and feeling alive, confident, expressing ourselves. And so yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's just like doing some movement to, to feel into that sense of like um, self-expression and creativity and like birthing movement for yourself. So that's kind of what I wanna get into and yeah, grab your water and we're gonna just start off with some intuitive flows. Um, I like to think of the sacral chakra as really being represented by circles. So we're gonna start by moving our body in circles. The, you know, the circle of life. <laughs> um, but even just like circles and patterns that we find in our, our everyday life constantly in motion and we have to to come into balance with that we have to accept that life is always flowing and hopefully our music will work out in our favor also thank you thank you very much so we're just moving our, our head here in circles I would love for you to join me. What is this? This little wishy floating by. Um, moving our head in circles. And once that feels good, we'll go ahead and move our shoulders backwards. And not just doing little motions, but really filling up the whole motion here. Inviting yourself to see how much, how big can you make the circles with your shoulders? How much can you move them around? Maybe you've been sitting for a while. Even if you're just watching me wherever you are, can you, let's reverse direction, just give some movement to your body here. This is gonna bring blood flow to the area. Get those synovial juices going. We can also do our forearms in circles here. In one direction. Maybe taking our time with it. And in the other. Play with the expression of movement too. This is about getting the body flowing. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this is because uh, if you saw my last stream, I was getting a head cold on the last stream and I was like, I don't feel so great. And then I ended up getting kind of sick. Like it wasn't really that bad, but um, I ended up getting a little bit sick. So I really haven't moved my body much at all since last week. So this is this is why we're doing this kind of like nourishing, let's go into the wrists type of movement um, to really just get into the body. I know for myself this morning, I woke up feeling a little bit agitated in the body and that sensation doesn't have to be permanent. 
and so I went and I did a, a sacral chakra meditation just for myself and then I will be doing one later on Patreon but that energy is what I want to invite into here so this is like we can even move our, our fingers here just revitalizing the body re-welcoming in vitalization for me it's about the whole body it's about getting back into movement because um, I hadn't done it for nearly a week but for you it might be something different maybe maybe you're exploring getting into movement maybe you're exploring getting into your body just finding yourself wherever you are today I'm going to invite us now to do bring some twists into our, our core center. You can do this standing up or seated. I'm going to stay on my knees so you guys can see me. Twisting, just bringing some movement here. strong obliques. You can use your arms spread out to enhance the rotation. This is going to warm up your spine. And there's no rush here. If you want to, you can even go ahead and just hold this position so maybe we'll want to just bring ourselves all the way back and challenge ourselves to go a little deeper into the twist i'm going to change the positioning of my legs you can join me here if you want to pretzeling our legs and twisting leading with the base of your spine and then finally turning your head all the way to the back sitting up tall Breathe. And we can go ahead and take it over to the other side. So if you're going to join me seated, we can just start with the face and just give ourselves a little twist. Looking behind ourselves. Letting your body relax into new positions. can take many seconds to release, release the tension. Hello. We're having a very chill morning. We're um, just doing some sacral chakra inspired movements. It's very circular, revitalizing the body. Because I haven't moved in almost a week. So that is what we're doing. Bring it if you're following along into hands and knees. So just aligning our wrists over our shoulders and our knees under our hips and bring it into some movements with our spine. So I'm going to start by moving my hips back and forth because this is what feels good for me right now. That's where I want to release the tension. So we can even bring it into oh wonderful yes good thing you brought your airpods we're gonna bring it side to side too whether you're watching this back or doing it with me right now just welcoming in movement through the spine and noticing how it feels Once you've gone back and forth a couple times, you can go up and down, take it into cat cow. There's no rush here. You 
can take as long as you need in these positions. Maybe to find the full position even. Maybe following your breath. And when you go into your, your uh, cat here, see if you can feel like you're pushing your belly button all the way up into the sky. And like the crown of your head is reaching towards your tailbone. And then we go into the cat. It's the opposite. Same thing in the opposite direction. Maybe giving yourself a little bit of a hold here like we did with the spinal twist. And just going back and forth between these two. Uh, no, thank you. It's, mm -hmm. This is purely a <laughs> fitness stream and spirituality and, and all that type of stuff. Then we can take our, our spine into circles. So coming back to that circular movement, we can take our, our head and our spine in big circular directions in one, one direction at first. See if you can move your body like water. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Something I always miss. Yeah, I mean, you can. This is an open space, but you can go with that if you want to. We're going to in the opposite direction now. It's all about sensation. The soul, I mean, the, the sacral chakra loves sensation, physical touch, sensuality. I'm going to send it back for a second. Um, it's all about life giving. Hello, welcome. I'm just going to give myself a little full spinal stretch here if you want to meet me. And a little bit of a baby cobra. Send those hips back into child's pose. And really, in this position, really stretching out the upper body. You should feel this in your armpits, maybe all along your arms, maybe your, even your fingertips, potentially. And you can rock here. Like I said, the, the sacral chakra is all about flowing, vibrancy, it's associated with water. You can go ahead and take it to one side and go back down, making a big arch along your side body here, a little semicircle, if you will which is so appropriate for today, and breathing into new shapes, allowing your body to experience new shapes. Maybe you can come back to center, take to their side. Maybe when you breathe in a new shape, it feels different. Maybe the air fills up your lungs in a different type of way. a beautiful spot to just notice sensation. For me, I notice the biggest stretch here along my side body. And let's come up. Let's go ahead and, hello, good morning. Let's go ahead and take some hip circles. I may or may not have to stand up for this one. We're going to start to bring some of that circular movement into our hips now. And I want you 
want you to take your time with this. So for this, I'm actually gonna stand up so that we can do this together. For this movement, we're gonna break it down so that it's one step at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of a wide stance here. And let's send our hips to the side and then back and then to the other side. You can put your hands on your hips and then to the front. And see if you can control this movement with your, your core muscles, feeling nice and strong. And just going slowly. This is where your, your sacral chakra is located, about three inches below your belly button. So, this is really bringing some movement into that space, releasing tension here. This is like our sexual energy, our creative energy that often goes untapped. If you were to live your most authentic life, what would it look like? What would it feel like? Would you be able to move more freely like this in daily movements? Would you wake up in the morning and do this? How would you look in your body? And how would you feel in your body? This is this movement is like not something we do in everyday life. So it's good to give yourself permission to just feel it. And now let's go ahead and take it in the other direction, so we're on the side out to the front, other side, and to the back. Maybe you notice a challenge in your balance here, making yourself have to stand really firm in your feet. Maybe you notice how your core engages differently. This feels so good for me too. It's like not often that this is something you do for exercise. Just gonna keep going around, waking up all of those lower bodies. Off. Really good for your hips, your hip flexors. Good. Let's do a couple more. Really, this is like a good way to like get abs too. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna take a pause from this. I want you to challenge yourself to express the movement even further. So we're gonna go ahead and take a wide stance, and you can put your hands on like your lower back and just lean, just lean back and make that little like arch with your body, do a little semicircle with the top of your body. How does it feel? Bring those elbows back. How does it feel to open your chest? Open up your heart to the sky. And, up. and then bring it in the other direction, coming forward. We're gonna just hang ourselves forward here, letting letting the back arch. You don't have to. This isn't just from the hips, you can just let yourself hang for a second. Let your neck come down, let your body create that circle. Maybe move a little, and sway. Oh my gosh, I love the birds so much! And now we're gonna go ahead and take that to the side. So again, wide, a little wider than hip distance. You can reach your hands all the way up. When they go up, we're gonna grab one wrist with our, so let's grab, let's reach up and grab our um, left wrist with our right hand and then lean over to the right. That might be the opposite for you because of the camera, but making a little bit of a arch here with our upper body again. Stretching out the side of our body and our obliques. And 
and breathing. Don't forget to breathe here. I know that it can be uncomfortable even to just hold poses sometimes, but this is where the release comes in. And up. Give your arms a little rest and then send them back up to the sky, grabbing your right wrist with your left hand and going, bending over to your left. Or maybe if you're mirroring me the opposite. Opposite direction. Remembering to breathe. And up, wonderful. That felt really good. You can roll, roll out your shoulders a little bit. Give yourself a little permission to just shake it out. We just did a lot of, a lot of spinal movements. I'm actually getting kind of warm. I might take my um my like long sleeve shirt off in a second. We're gonna go ahead and bring some movement now into our <laughs> our legs and our hips. So you can just start by gently swinging. You might feel the tension in <laughs> the back of your leg. You can take it higher if you want to, or not. You need to hold on to something that's totally fine, or you can just keep your hands on your hips or out to the side. And let's go ahead and switch legs. Finding your balance. Wherever you are in this practice is okay. If you have to hold on to something. Letting the back of those legs release that tension. That's what's gonna help you for today. And we're gonna bring it into hip circles. So just opening up, opening up one side at a time, making a big circle. Like you're drawing a big circle on a piece of paper in front of you with your knee. That's gonna help even get into the strength of your core too, with the stability, all of that goodness. And then the other side. Drawing that big circle. Ooh, don't lose your balance with your knee. Wonderful. And maybe we'll take some in the opposite direction. See how that feels any different. My apologies for the garbage truck noises in the background. Hopefully they're not too bad on your end. Taking it to the other leg and just letting it loosen up, and then we are going to go straight into our knees. So I actually, I don't see a lot of people do this, but I actually like to give myself a little bit of a knee swing. So I lift it up, and then I just let my knee swing here. So there's no pressure on the knee. You're moving the knee, but there's no pressure on the joint itself. been holding your leg up for a while you might even start to feel a little bit of a burn in your hamstrings and that's okay. Just swing up the other leg now. So and you can't see me but we're gonna do the ankles too. Really, we're going to take our one ankle in one direction and kind of see the reflection <laughs> that I'm doing my ankles. And then we're going to take it in the other direction on the same foot. So important. 
put into one of the Angus Gym. It feels really good. This is just about warming up the whole body. Not about strength. It's about sensation. It's about bringing that chi energy back into my body, back into your body. The prana, the life force, however you want to imagine it, revitalizing it. What we're going to do now is I'm going to like just kind of press my toes into the mat a little bit and stretch out the front of my ankles. Another seldom done movement that is going to help release the tension. Physical tension is emotional tension too, right? If your body is tensed up, you're going to feel that emotionally. And if you're emotionally tensed up, your body's going to get tensed up. And so the releasing of the tension in the muscles is also a releasing of the tension in your life and your emotions. And no matter where you are at, like it, there's always something we're holding on to. We don't eat, like oftentimes we don't even realize it. Okay, let's take it back down to the mat now. join me here for a little bit of a um, pike stretch. So we're going to create that circular shape again by holding over our legs, letting ourselves be heavy on, on the mat. And noticing if it feels different to breathe here in this shape. Noticing where you feel the stretch the most and then sending your air to that spot. The breath being your guiding force. Maybe on the exhale, leaning forward a little bit more. Deepening the stretch. a moment to stretch out our glutes a little bit, taking um, one foot over the other knee in a figure four position and leaning forward, pressing out of the mat with your hands behind you if you can. In this position you can keep your back straight a little more and hinge at the hips and you can feel the stretch that's going to happen in your glutes, maybe in your hamstrings, and just releasing there as well. Deep breath in out. <sighs> and after we finish this, I think in honor of the sacral chakra, we are going to go ahead and do a little bit of strength training around our lower abdomen and glutes. Hold this a little longer. And then switch legs. And coming to sit up. Nice and tall, leaning forward, stretching out your left glute. So you should feel the most stretch on the glute of the leg that is crossed in front of you. And then gently releasing. Okay. You have some new checks to yours. That's good, I think. <laughs> Okay, let's 
take it into a few exercises. So we're, I'm gonna take it straight into um, some core exercises. This is gonna help us feel nice and strong in the core. It's gonna help us feel good after we're done with this practice. Moving a little bit yet yeah, less into that like relaxing yin state and more into the three strength training nature. So bring your lower back to the ground and then bring your hands behind your head. You can keep your elbows wide. And then we're gonna just alternate bringing our wrist to our knee and sending our legs out straight in front of us. Get our bicycle. Focusing on letting the belly button come towards the mat. And there's no rush here. This isn't double time. You can take this as slow as you need. This is gonna get your rectus abdominis, it's gonna get your obliques. The trick is to, instead of just tapping with your elbow, you can crunch up and bring your wrist all the way all the way so you're going to twist it in your upper body as well and that's what's going to help you get nice and toned really good you're going to start to feel fatigued so go ahead and keep breathing feeling so strong you can take a break if you need to Okay, last one. Let's take our feet all the way down the start. Oh, I'm so glad. Do I know first position of ballet? Um, I like. I don't really have like all the positions memorized. I want to go straight to glute break with this. Um, so. I did some dance, but I was never a ballerina. Again, here having our hips tucked under, pushing out of our heels, sending our hips all the way to the sky, into the full range of motion here. Moving, literally physically moving our sacral chakra up and down. In terms of ballet, though, I was never really a ballerina. <laughs> dance was more modern, contemporary, jazz type movements. I would say this motion you should really be powering through with your glutes. You shouldn't have too much pressure on your lower back. If you start to feel like the pressure is on your lower back, Really check in to see what um, orientation your pelvis is in. Make sure it's not it's not um, arched. Make sure your lower back isn't arched, rather tucked under. More and more glutes here. Let's 
truck is almost done making its rounds. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Enjoy me if you want. onto the mat, taking it down into the glute bridge, and sending one leg up, our hands will be behind our heads. We're going to go into a single leg glute bridge, come back down, and cross the body. Glute bridge, and cross. Thank you, these leggings are from Victoria's Secret Pink, and yeah, that's, that's what they are. But they're cool, they're like wraparounds. Um, okay, we're going to take a couple more exercises here, and then, I don't know, we're just, let's just take a few more here. So, let's take this into a little bit of a body weight Russian twist. So you can keep your feet on the floor or you can elevate them. You sit up nice and tall and then put your hands together. Let's go ahead and alternate sides. So no rush here. Just bringing a little bit of that fire into our lower abs as well as our hip flexors. energizing this part of our body, breathing deeply, maybe you take an exhale on the, on the twist and an inhale on the return. And the garbage truck has departed, it's so good. Do a couple more. And take a breather. I get my leggings. I mean, the, a lot, some of them were a gift. These ones were a gift. Um, I really like, um, Alpha Elite has some good ones that I like. Um, I really like the color and like the design at the bottoms. I have some Gymshark ones, but not all of them fit me right, so um, I can't recommend all the styles, but I do like Gymshark and Alpha Leaks. And for like everyday leggings, and let's take it back into Russian Twist, but we're going to do double tap this time, so like this. Um, for like everyday leggings, I like to wear uh, Athleta. I find that Athleta makes really good leggings. Um, just like plain black leggings that I'll wear all the time. I used to have to wear like really nice clothes to high school, so I would get a lot of my pants from Athleta if I could. This one is a little bit of a challenge, and that's okay. If the twist is new to you, it's kind of hard to hold this movement and twist, or if your thighs are starting to hurt, that's all right. I'm trying to think though, I think honestly that's where most of my leggings are from. I don't own like a ton ton of leggings, but the ones I do, like, let's take a break, it are like, I like to get them a little more high quality or like ask them for presents or something because I just like, I don't like cheap leggings. I 
take a breath, break a break for water. And a breather. Okay. We're gonna take it into something a little more backside oriented. So we're gonna take it onto the front of our body now. And this movement is going to be driving out of our glutes and a little bit of our lower back. You can come down to the mat here. And we're just going to start by alternating, picking up one leg and then the other. And seeing if you can keep the belly button drawn towards your spine while squeezing the glutes. So this is what you're going to find that you can get a better range of motion if you actually lay your head down. I know you can't see me completely, but if I do that, just warming up this motion. And we'll take a couple more on either side. And then we're, we're going to go straight into uh, curls hamstring curls. So just body weight hamstring curls so you can keep your legs together. And then we're gonna just simply, you can have your feet flexed or pointed. Um, I like to point them. And bring your own resistance into this movement. So you wanna keep your core tight, you wanna keep your glutes engaged, and you want to draw the movement from your glutes and your hamstrings. Imagine if you're on one of those curling machines and bring some resistance into your hamstrings now to and again this is going to be firing up a little bit around your lower back too and then we are going to combine the movement so we're going to bring our legs in and we're going to lift up and down. So it's like a little bit of like froggy pulses. This looks ridiculous, but it is wonderful for you. And it is going to help you help strengthen those parts of your body that maybe you haven't been strengthening. Maybe you've never done this exercise before. And notice here how I'm in a little bit of a semicircle, you know? using that lower part of our midsection to create circles in the body. New shapes, new shapes are good for us. So a couple more. Breathing. Okay, and releasing our legs down. And then shake out your hips side to side. Let the tension go. Okay, I'm gonna come up and send that back into child's pose now just to give a little reverse positioning for your spine. Breathing. And enjoying yourself. Okay. And that is what I have for you for your sacral chakra movements. And I hope that you enjoyed them. I'm going to be doing the sacral chakra um, meditation on Patreon at one o'clock today. If you want to do more of a mindset-based practice with me, it will be there. And yeah, let me know if you're interested in doing that. And I can like hook you up, send you the link and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that is, that's what I got for movements for today. 